what's up everyone and welcome back to the channel yes we are taking a look at guild boss level 6 and i did just get 142 million with a team that has no legend auras okay no legend auras no legend auras on this hisonia nidrold maeve ben austin and catherine you know e3 e5 e4 e3 e3 you know this is it's, it's you know they've got the exclusives but it's guild boss level six guys come on this team absolutely smashed guild boss level five it got 231 million let me put the proof in the pudding for you there you go uh the ranking on that and you can see it was the team i used here maeve oh look at this blood is using the same team with a maeve without any exclusives Look at that. Check that out. Crazy. Crazy. E3 Nidrold. E2 Ben Alston. Um, which means he's not getting the constant use of that final skill. Wow. He must have Legend Auras. Must do. Blood, you need to message me let me know on that. Okay, let's have a little test just to see how it's going. I'm just going to leave it on auto. See what happens. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to put a legend aura on one of our heroes, um, probably Maeve, and uh, see what happens there. I'm expecting Nidrold to die here, okay? I just want to see how much damage is done before he dies. Before he dies. Obviously, you know, Ben Austin and Maeve working here together means that the boss is getting slowed a lot. Getting slowed very often. You know, it's only at two at the moment, but it's going to go up to three now. There we go, and then it will go up to five, depending on what she skill she uses. Four, okay, so it's a 20% slow right now, which gives us enough time to stack what we need to stack um, on the boss to do good damage in that short period of time. Okay, so there's two layers of the slumber down on now, and it, you know, you can really see how it makes a difference, especially because the boss hits so hard, it hits so hard in this. You know, you just want to do as much damage as you can, as fast as you can. If you can survive, you know, great, fantastic. But it's very hard. And if you haven't got the survivability on your team, then you're going to want to go for a team that can do damage fast and effective to get the best score you can get. This isn't looking great so far. Nidrold is being targeted hard. Nidrold is being targeted hard. He's got five debuffs on him. Hazonia has three. Still going 76, 77. Come on, I want, to, I want to see you get to that 140, 142, or whatever it was I got. Ninety million after 10 turns. Not bad about any Legend Auras. You can see there's no Legend Auras here, guys. Look, it's, what is this? I'm oh, colorblind, so is that? That's purple, purple, blue, blue. Ben Austin doesn't even have an aura. Does he not have... <laughs> okay, okay. He could do with a recovery horn or a bit. There goes Nidrold. He's down. He's down. So where's this extra damage coming from? Obviously, it does vary every time we battle, you know. And what happens? Oh, Hisonia nearly went there. One nineteen. One two six. This is what we're going to get nuked, I think. Oh, he went for Catherine. Wow. We may beat 142, possibly. We're going to go the whole distance here. 139. Okay, 139. Still a very, very good attempt. Still a very, very good attempt. Okay. Time for me to throw on a couple of auras, I believe. Um, and Ben Austin, have you not got an aura on, bro? My bad. Um... You know, see, ideally, I would love to have Skillmaster Aura on him. I just don't have enough number nines. This would be huge for him. Um, and then Combat Vanguard on Mive. What has she got on right now? Victory Rush Aura. She's going to lose some damage. She's going to lose some damage, but let's disassemble. It is only 300 to disassemble, you know, so... And it's nothing lost anymore. It's so nice having this ability to do this now. Combat Vanguard Aura, just for the boss. Just for the boss. 16% extra damage taken. 
Um, let's pump some of these into it. Tiny bit more survivability. Um, I really want to put... I don't have it. I just don't have it. Maybe... Okay, I've got an idea. The sedent from the last video had on uh, Mastery Surge Aura. So we've got, we're going to disassemble this and we're going to give this <laughs> waste of 200 gen. Well, it's not a waste. It's not a waste. It's not a waste. Let's throw this on Ben Austin. Really could do with upgrading it, number four. Really could do with upgrading it. But let's just see what a difference that makes with those two auras. So we have the Combat Vanguard on Mive. We have the uh, Mastery Surge Aura on Ben Austin. Let's have a little look. We hit 139, I believe, and 142. So we'll see if we can beat that. Either of those. We should do, right? In theory, we should do. Combat Vanguard Aura is on. Damn, she got stunned straight away. That's going to affect us. I wish I um, paid attention to how much damage was being done on the ticks, but I mean, it does vary. Oh, Hezonia's being targeted first this time, it seems, with his health, which is going to affect our damage overall. That is going to affect our damage. I'm hoping he can survive. Jeez. May have to do another one after this because for some reason Hazan is being targeted. I cannot remember how much we was at after 10 turns. Was it 90 million before? Still doing good health burn. 12 turns, 104 doubt. There goes Nidrold. Zonia is barely hanging on. Barely hanging on. What are you going to do? Are you even going to beat it? It's made a huge difference, hasn't it? Um, having Hazonia get those health, burn, uh, health down early on. Look at that. Hey, actually less damage. Actually less damage. 55 here. Okay, we've got to try it one more time. We've got to try it one more time. And see the differences. We have a Zonia again. Why though? Like, why does he sometimes go for Nidrold, sometimes for Hazonia? I do not understand. The enemy who deals the most damage. Okay. 
Oh, right. Okay, that makes sense. Because Lonnie's dealing the most damage now. And he wasn't before, which is weird. It's weird. Why he wasn't before. Because the mastery is going to help Nidrold as well. He actually seems to be a further behind on damage this time. Okay, even worse, even worse. All right, all right. You get you get a gist. You get the gist. Um, okay, I did finish that at least. One thirteen, not good, not good. All right, guys. There's a little uh, inkling of how my guild boss currently looks. Um, so thank you again for watching. If you like what you're watching, make sure you click like, subscribe, and comment below to help the channel grow. And if you have any tips for me, post them below. Take care, everyone.